Welcome to this module on elements of communication. In this particular module, we are particularly looking at the face-to-face -face conversation that happens between two or more people. It is a rich communication. It involves our entire body language, our gestures, as we will see, our uh, tone and tenor of our voice, and it involves our whole personality. So in this particular module, uh, we're going to look at one, the verbal, number two, the nonverbal communication, and number three, we're going to look at the richness of face-to-face -face communication, and number four, what are the challenges one faces when you are communicating face-to-face? So these are some of the things that we are going to look at in this particular module. So let's look at the first one, face-to-face -face communication. Another expression for this is in-person communication. We are physically present for the person. The other person can look at you. You can look at the other person. And therefore, there is a richness in this communication. And this particular um, figures that I am giving you that happens between face-to-face -face communication uh, is based on research of Meher in 1981. So this research throws up interesting figures. We think that many times uh, what we speak verbally, that is the words, are very important and they constitute the heart of communication. But this research has really opened our eyes to show that it happens in several other ways and in a significant manner. 55% of our communication, when we communicate our message and our attitudes, when we are engaged in a conversation, 55% of our time, um, of our message, is conveyed through nonverbal communication. 38% of our communication is vocal, that is to do with our voice. And the surprise of surprises is that only 7% of our communication has to do with our words. So even as you're listening to this video, you will notice that what I'm talking to you, what I'm sharing with you, has to do with much, much more than words. And that has to do with our nonverbal communication, our vocal communication, and then, of course, the words.